Hi guys and welcome back to Maltbox, the non-chill filtered whiskey blog. I'm Andy and I'm back here today with another whiskey review. You might notice that my surroundings are a little bit different to normal and that's because I'm doing this on location in Cornwall. Very excited to be here, loving it, loving the weather, loving the people, loving the scenery. I did bring some whiskey with me, shockingly enough, one of those for the purposes of this review. And that is from an independent bottler that, I'll be honest, I'd heard of, but hadn't heard too much about. Now, this is a company called Heroes and Heretics. They are an independent bottler, relatively small at the minute. They've got quite a limited, but very, very nice range, very nice looking range, but that's getting some very good reviews. And hopefully that's what we're gonna see here today as well. I've not tried any of these releases before. And basically I was provided with, with some samples, so full disclosure, the sample's been provided, but because it's been provided does not necessarily dictate that it's going to get a positive review, all right? I always say that, you guys know that. I'll tell you what I think of it regardless. Now, they've got a couple of single malts in there. They've got a bourbon from Heaven Hill. Um, they've even got a rum, which I'm quite excited to try because as part of the website, as I'd said before, aside from the channel, I'm sort of expanding out into other spirits in there as well to keep things fresh, a little bit varied. The whiskey that I've decided to bring with me down south is, isn't one of the single malts. It's a blended malt inspired by the 1980s. And that is something I can get behind. I'm an 80s kid. I love the 80s. I love the music, fashion sense. Uh, but, you know, the music was pretty boss. Now, that whiskey that I'm talking about here is a blended malt called 48. And here it is, guys. 48 blended malt Scotch whiskey. And I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times in the last couple of reviews. I love blended malt. I love blends in general, but blended malt is one of the most underappreciated whiskey categories out there. And I think recently it's starting to get a bit of a renaissance and a bit more attention. The attention it deserves. It takes a lot of craft to make blends. Your single malts in the form of like your Glenfiddich 12s, etc. They're blends of single malt from the same distillery. It's not a single cask. There is still an art to blending. So this is a non-chill filtered and natural colour blended malt. Quite a nice light colour there. It's bottled at 48%, shockingly enough, given the name. Cask number 23, Sherry Butt. So there's some Sherry influence in here, but I mean, it's got to be pretty pretty refilled at this point, hasn't it? I mean, if you're looking at that colour, yes, this is a, is a bimber glass, because uh, this is the glass that I decided to bring away with me. So very, very light. I I, if I didn't know that was a sherry, but I would have said that that was ex-bourbon, but I suppose it depends on the sherry that was in there. Could it be Fino? Not too sure. So on the nose, let's have a look. Initially very malty. Very light, very sort of fresh. There's a little bit of crisp green apple in there. We've got some, it's citrus, but it's not like citrus peel or citrus juice. For me, it's more like a kind of lemon curd kind of thing, a little bit tart, but you've got a really sort of like thick uh, sort of like depth behind it as well, if that makes sense. It's not just pure acidic citrus. There is a little bit more to it. Some vanilla, a little bit of, I'm not too sure whether I want to say turmeric or cumin. But there's definitely something of that ilk there. A little bit of sweetness, a little bit of spice and a slight alcohol nip. But I don't mind that. A little bit of heat, I quite like that. Bottled at forty eight percent. That's and high. That's a higher ABV than forty, forty three, and forty six. So sometimes you know you can get that kind of like warmth uh, from the alcohol content. Hmm. Very very interesting nose indeed. Now, again, just to reiterate, this is Heroes and Heretics. Uh, the forty eight, I believe, is their kind of not entry level uh, release, but it's probably their most widely available release. I know they've got a Kregeliki, single cast Kregeliki 
uh, a Lichig from Toby Mori, Heaven Hill Bourbon, which I've already sort of like touched on. So I think this is going to be kind of their gateway into the range from what I can see um, from someone that's not tried them before. I believe they're available at your kind of usual suspects in the form of like Master of Malt and the whiskey exchanges of the world. Also, I'm not too sure if you can hear any background noise. If you can, apologies. But I mean, I'm looking out of a window now into the cove of the village that I'm in. Um, it's pure daylight here. It's, it's lovely. It's, it's about seven o'clock at night, but it's still very light. And I'm it's single pane glass. So if you do hear noise, sorry. Um, there's, there's kind of a lot going on out there. Mm. Right, on the palette. Good mouthfeel, good texture. Initially, lovely, lovely hit of spice. Then it opens up into vanilla. More of those kind of fresh cut fruits that I was talking about, like your green apples. I mean, just before we kind of carry on with that theme, just before the finish kicks in, you've got this lovely kind of black pepper hit. Really like black pepper. Um, finish, finish itself, medium length, warming. Still a little bit of heat in there, but again, quite pleasant. Mm. I can already tell that this is this was a good choice for me to bring down because it's warmer down here than it is back home up north. The sun comes out and it says on the weather apps it's like 12, 13 degrees, but it's not. There's no way it's 12 or 13 degrees. It feels like 20. Mm. Mm. Mm, yeah, okay. So going back to the palette, we've kind of got Biscoff biscuits or cheesecake base. Kind of quite malty. Again, going back to that vanillas, sort of like a vanilla custard vibe. Really nice balanced sweetness. It's not overly sweet. It's not too spicy. Very well balanced is how I would describe it. I did poke my nose back in the glass for another go on the nose. And what I got was malted milk biscuits and a tiny whiff of smoke. I'm not sure if there's peated whiskey in here. There might be a little bit because there is some, some kind of like depth to it. There's... There is something that flirts with smoke, I suppose, is how you describe it, a flirt with smoke, but it's not a smoky dram for me. It, if there is stuff in there, then it's there to give it a bit of backbone. And if it has been put in there, then it has succeeded, because this does have very good structure to it. It's very tasty. Mm. Very, very nice whiskey indeed. Very pleasant, very approachable, very well put together. So, thanks again to the guys at Heroes and Heretics for sending that through. Again, this has been the 48 blended malt, so it's a no-age statement blended malt. Just to reiterate, sherry butt, 48%, non-chill filtered, natural colour. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to box it off now. Uh, feel free to check out Twitter at Maltbox, Instagram at Maltbox Whiskey, the website maltboxwhiskey.com. Thanks for watching. See you soon.